Psalm 45 For the director of music To the tune of lilies Of the sons of Korah A maskil, a wedding song My heart is stirred by a noble theme As I recite my verses for the king My tongue is the pen of a skinned, skillful writer. You are the most excellent of men, and your lips have been anointed with grace. Since God has blessed you for ever, gird your sword upon your side, O mighty one. Clothe yourself with splendor and majesty. In your majesty ride forth victoriously on behalf of truth, humility, and righteousness. Let your right hand display awesome deeds. Let your sharp arrows pierce the hearts of the king's enemies. Let the nations fall beneath your feet. Your throne, O God, will last for ever and ever. A scepter of justice will be the scepter of your kingdom. Your love, you love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, Your God has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. All your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloes and cassia. From palaces adorned with ivory, the music of the strings makes you glad. Daughters of kings are among your honoured women. At your right hand is the royal bride in gold of offer. Listen, O daughter, consider and give ear. Forget your people and your father's house. The king is enthralled by your beauty. Honour him, for he is your Lord. The daughter of Tyre will come with a gift. Men of wealth will seek your favour. All glorious is the princess within her chamber. Her gown is interwoven with gold. In embroiled garments, She is led to the king. Her virgin companions follow her and are brought to you. They are led in with joy and gladness. They enter the palace of the king. Your sons will take the place of your fathers. You will make them princes throughout the land. I will perpetuate your memory through all generations. Therefore, the nations will praise you forever and ever.